I got an idea. It has to be served that way. I show you this. Got some mint. Let's come some mint. Now we have our own mint here. Okay. I think this should be enough. This is something that I love to do. Mmm, that smells good. Oh, it smells really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put a lot of, a mm -hmm. lot, a mm -hmm. lot of meat. Check mm -hmm. this out. Mm -hmm. Tarchen, welcome here. Welcome here, welcome here. Welcome here. No, 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 no. I love you, Tarchen. Do you know this? Do you know this or you don't know this? We need a Moroccan teapot, like that one. Then we add the mint. We need to wash the mint. We wash the mint very well. Like this. Plenty of mint. I love mint. Then we add the tea, that way. Then sugar, according to the taste. Then you add very, very hot water. For about five, six people. And then you need to cook it on low, very low heat. Just like this. This should be enough. You wait until you have a kind of foam coming up and then your tea should be ready. Let it cook now. White foam, it's coming, you see all those bubbles? It should be more dense. Okay, now the tea is ready. It has to be served that way. You need to have this kind of foam. The tea is ready. This is the typical Moroccan tea prepared and offered for Fiti as she cooked for us today. Here it is. This is the surprise of the day. Oh, look at this. The first glass is for Fiti without sugar. You see the foam? She actually wants another glass. So, we give a try to the fish lunch. Sutlaks. 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 S